Welcome back to the podcast. We're switching it up today. Yes, we are. Different We're... setup and that's really a different setup. Actually, no different premise. Too. Different. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we both watched this movie called Prey and wanted to talk about it. And so we're like, oh, we're doing a podcast. Let's just do it there. Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie Prey. Yeah. So check it out if you want to before yeah. watching this. Uh, so why don't we just do the premise first? The premise of Prey is it's a sort of prequel to the movie Predator, where an alien lands on Earth and fights humans. Uh, your first thoughts? Uh, over well, okay. Overall, like, I I like this movie. Um, what was it? What was your letterbox rating? Three and a half stars. Three and a half stars. Okay. Three and a half stars. Out of five. Yeah, out of five. Okay. I like this movie. I thought it was fun and entertaining. Um, not perfect, but overall, I thought it was a pretty good return to form because I've seen a lot of the other Predator movies, and uh, I think the first one is the best one, and I think this is probably the second best one um but yeah i mean what did you like generally think um i did not like this movie uh i gave it like one and a half stars on letterbox i'm kind of surprised you didn't like it uh i thought this movie was incredibly boring from start to finish uh i thought the action was awful uh i think they inserted like extra five cuts in every action sequence Okay. Uh, when she, like they have her throwing her axe, they literally like cut four different angles on uh, the axe throw. At the very beginning. Yeah, when she's learning how to throw her axe. When she's first rope, like when yeah. she has when she puts the rope on. I like, like that. I like don't... the cuts or the amount of times she threw it. The cuts, the amount of cuts that, oh. to be able to throw an axe. Mm. I didn't really notice that too much, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I like that part. I don't know. It, it's. The movie could have started 15 minutes into the movie. Uh, I do think, though, that you might not have liked it as much because you watched it late at night. Tired. That's uh, No, I thought about that. I thought about that. Uh, and I stand by my... Uh, I stand by my... <laughs> you don't think that has any influence I don't think, on... I, don't, I think if it was an interesting movie, I would have been interested in it. Oh, well, I don't know. Look, I, I don't... I... I, I watched this I watched this like a week ago originally because we watched yeah. it kind of separately yeah I watched this last night yeah and then I tried to watch it with them but I fell asleep because I was tired but I I had watched it all the way through a week ago um, I agree that it starts out slow but not too slow to dislike it or to it starts dismiss out it. incredibly slow that I was like this is I'm gonna hate this movie no 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 like okay I, I think it's like a bit of a slow burn at first I do think it could have picked up the speed a little or cut at, some at, stuff out at, at no point does the movie pick up speed yeah it does it, even when when you have Predator going in and murdering everybody which by the way the Predator is a cowardly character and has nothing to do with it being the top predator. It turns invisible to fight these people. What? What? If you're trying to show off how powerful you are, then you're gonna show yourself to your enemy and fight them, like no, face to face, man to man. Like that's how that's how you show you that you're stronger and the and the best Not, predator. Like, no, that's that's you turn invisible. You can't even see the thing. That's that no because that's you're talking about fighters like going equally matched into like a ring, but a predator is. Trying to usually get the element of this of the surprise, like yeah. the eagle doesn't announce itself to the rabbit so that the rabbit can start running. It's usually like scoping it out from the air and then swoops down and tries to catch it, you know, off guard or as much off guard as it yeah, can. Yeah, but but like I think my biggest problem is like the techno the technological use of the predator against against the, everyone else yeah yeah okay yeah but like, like, like of course you're not going to stand a chance if you don't have like the better technology you know but i mean spoiler alert uh, spoiler alert she she ends up i mean yeah obviously but in, 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 they would never really happen like that plus this is a fucking she, she, it's she, a movie dude you know, I, I, I okay 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 the main character sucked i disagree uh, with it, it was <sighs> okay okay can i go back to what i was saying sure about the go, beginning? For it, go for okay, it go okay. for it okay okay uh 
I agree that it starts off kind of slow. So like slow. not there's not no, all... there's so little dialogue, and then the actors in it aren't very good actors to begin with. I I, I also disagree with that. Um, but the beginning is kind of slow and stuff. I do think what what I mean by slow is um. I think this movie tries to be more like kind of artsy than uh, probably the other Predator movies have yes. tried to be. They tried to do something different than just like an action movie. And and well, th- there's nothing wrong with well, there's not nothing necessarily wrong with that. But what I'm saying is it it's it's kind of artsy, you know. It starts out with some nice framing. I I think the cinematography looks pretty nice at the beginning and all of that. But the thing that did get a little annoying to me was when uh, they would show the like the animals, you know, like they have the the insect on the grass, and then the mouse gets the insect, and then <laughs> the snake gets the mouse that just got the insect, and then the snake's about to strike on the predator, and, and the, the predator, predator like gets the, the, the and I was like, yeah. okay, I get it. And then again, we see the rabbit running and the wolf. I was like, okay, we don't need to see this much. Come on, guys. Um, I know they were trying to show that the predator is like goes after the predator, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's why he he would he wouldn't go after the or they're the, they're actually the the, prey, the, yeah. the female and uh, protagonist because he didn't see her as a predator, yeah, because she kept getting her ass kicked by everybody she came into contact with, which is like then how how you how do I expect her to beat the predator in the end if? She can't beat anyone in this entire movie and is always running away from everything. Well, I, I also disagree with that a little bit just because I, I I thought about that too, but I was like the Predator like gets like he gets hurt a lot along the way until she so, finally So, so, so the, the moral of the story is she can only kill it because the Predator has been brought down by everything before it. No, it's been weak maybe it's, it's been, been weakened. weakened a lot yeah. by a lot of the so other that, stuff that's, that's come before. So that's her only way she wins is because of everybody else hurting the predator but okay that doesn't necessarily make it bad that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying like if you're telling a story with your protagonist you usually want your protagonist to be the one who accomplishes the goal because of them not because of everybody else doing everything for you and then you just get it at a a lot weaker stage like i think like basic storytelling this movie fails as a whole i i disagree with that i disagree look look i i still haven't finished going over the beginning the beginning is doing a lot to just like show the setting and really i think that's it just kind of show the setting show the world you know you see the the native uh, american community doing their thing you see them hunting we also see the bits of the the predator hunting i do think like that part could have maybe been trimmed down to like improve the beginning flow uh, a little more i don't think a lot would have been lost and we could have gotten to the action well, so, like, so, so they, they they spend they show her uh, waking up, going for her initial hunt for the deer, right? That she misses with the dog, and then yeah. she and then she's with her brother, and they're shooting the eagle, and then she's back with her mom, and they're making medicine, uh, and then they're talking about how she shouldn't be a hunter, and then they go. She goes back out to get more medicine, and then she runs into the. Uh, party to go find the one guy uh, and then she goes with them and then they find him and then uh, okay but a bunch of we... other stuff happens too like where she ha- she learns about her axe at a different point it was just it was like I didn't need any of this I could just have her going hunting and she runs into a bear and then she runs into the predator which is happens in the movie okay okay but just what... started at that point I don't need any of this stupid backstory uh, I don't know I don't know I, I it's not even backstory it's just makes the movie longer I think it's just world setting up. That's all it is. And I just, I just but, said, but, but like it, it was so, you didn't like none of that told me anything about the story at all. It was just unnecessary filler. It's just, it's just showing the world. There's nothing but wrong with that. I know, but you could have done it in such a more interesting way. How? You just start where she's hunting. I don't need like any. None of that stuff told me anything about her or the story. That, like that, that I couldn't have gotten from the rest of the movie that was given to me. Uh, okay, what I'm saying with it was that just like extra stuff. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just saying with that part, it just seems like we're trying to be brought into this Native American community a little more and the setting. Uh, again, I do think it could have been trimmed down a bit, but I'm not upset at, at having you know. I, I wasn't annoyed having to watch that. Um, I just think it could have been trimmed down a bit to to 
to like improve the flow of it because I do think the film really kicks in when um, she decides to go off like be because it, it starts a little bit when she goes out with her brother to go do the I forget what it's called in Comanche because I don't speak Comanche but um, it's like the whole like ritual tradition yeah. thing of like hunting, hunting that thing that's supposed to be hunting, hunting you, you. Yeah. and she gets knocked out because uh, the lion gets a jump on her and her brother's the one that ends up getting the lion, the mountain mm -hmm. lion. And uh, after that, like, she confronts her brother about it. And he's like, you know what? <laughs> I did this, not you. Like, it's just not for you, right? And uh, she gets mad and takes off. And that's when I really like the film. Like, that's where I think the momentum really starts going. Cause yeah, but, but, but at what point into the movie is that? It's like, it's like 30 minutes. That's why I said I don't mind the setup. The, the first, like, world-building part of it, oh. just trim that down. But that's when the movie really, like, gets a lot of momentum going for it. Because that's when um, you, she... You, what? So go, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. I'm just going to say, you start... No, I'm going to cut you off. Sorry. You, you start the momentum. That's start, what you want, dude. You, I know, and I would I would have preferred it more. Okay, and that's okay <laughs> to say that. But, start, but, at the, start at the momentum, and then go from there. Like, why, why build up to... Uh, build up to this when I didn't even it does, it's not even necessary to the story is what I'm saying you don't think it's necessary like but if, if we if I if I cut that entire bit out and just started at her going after going hunting from the beginning for the uh, where she finds the bear yeah what different story is told it's the same exact story but it's trying to flesh out this like Native American but, aspect and, but I'm it. saying like it doesn't do a good job at flushing any of that out okay but that I I disagree. I thought it was all right the way it was done. I, I just all right. All, all, do you mean by all right as in like it was greatly done, or was it could have been improved upon? Because I'm saying it could have been improved. upon. I've already said how it could be improved upon, which is by trimming down like the length of it and just like making it a little quicker. That's all. Like I don't mind what's in there. Just like I do think there's a little too much before the rest of the action actually starts coming in. So just okay, trim so that down. We're basically in agreement here. No, because you want to eliminate it entirely. As, as it is. If, 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 if what we have the movie as it is, cut it out entirely. If they could have made it better, they could have made it better, but they couldn't make it better. But I'm not going to speculate on what that could have been because, I, I, again, I like what's there. Just trim it down. And, and I don't know what you would want to make it better because I already like what's there. I just want it trimmed down. That's it. <laughs> okay. Well, trim it down. Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's either... Change it completely from what you it's saw, cha either change it or, completely or start it, it where the action starts, yes. like you're saying. Yes. And I can't yes. speculate <laughs> what to change it to because I like what was in there. That's what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right. All right. Anyways, um, anyways, so again, the action really starts when she goes off on her own to go hunt this thing, yeah. which everyone suspects is just the bear, yeah. um, and she thinks otherwise. Um, but she does end up coming across the bear, and... Um, you know that's when she, <laughs> that's when she tries to shoot. You know the bear, and that doesn't go so well. So she's reloading her arrow or whatever, um, and and then she starts running away from the bear. And then that's when the terminator, not the terminator, <laughs> that's not the terminator. The terminator. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, not the the <laughs> that would have been so much more interesting. The terminator oh my pops god, up. that would have been a cool plot. Twist. But no, not the terminator. They go so far back in time that they have to go after the natives. No, the <laughs> God. Kill the great, 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 great! The predator shows up and starts fighting uh, with the grizzly bear, um, or if it is a grizzly bear. Um, but oh man, what was I gonna say? Real, real quick, I was gonna say this. Um, that that girl, like, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, but there are so many sequences, action sequences in the movie where. She like straight up is able to slide over the terrain like yeah, it's yeah, yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. She's like a baseball slider. <laughs> yeah, baseball slider. It, yeah, yeah. I thought that was cool. Like, <laughs> obviously, I don't think you can do that, especially in a forest where nothing is it's like slidable. nice and even. <laughs> yeah. It's all just like tree and debris, debris and like just a bunch of stuff. Uh, but it, it cracked me up because she's sliding everywhere <laughs> in this movie, and uh, that that was just kind of fun to watch. But anyways, yeah, I. I that was fun to see. I would have wished they would have just been like more muscular, just like more muscular. I don't. Believe Everybody. 
Everyone. All, yeah. All, like, especially I mean, I figured this is going to be an issue you had. It's, I, I don't believe for an instance that any of those uh, uh, people could do anything physical. Uh, way too thin. I don't know. Except for maybe run. I don't know. Um, but carry a mountain lion on your back? I, I know. I, I pointed that out last night. I don't think that dude could have carried the mountain lion on his back. But, I mean... With regards to the rest of it, it's a movie. I'm going to suspend my disbelief right there. Yeah. But, uh, and movies uh, didn't always also, have everybody looking like a superhero, so it's true. not like the biggest my, deal my, for me. My other problem is like how poorly this portrayed Native Americans as like hunters. Like They couldn't tell the difference between a bear's footprint and an alien's footprint. Well, to be fair... Um, like I, 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 and like honestly, like it, they made they made the, the 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 hunters just look so stupid. I was like, like they're like they, I don't know they it, it they wanted to make their protagonists look smarter and better than everyone else. So by to do that, instead of making her super smart, they made everyone else look really dumb. I don't think so. Um, I I don't I don't know. I wouldn't go quite that far just because. You, you, you're coming at it from an audience point of view where you get to see all this information and these guys are just going off what they know, which is bears and stuff yeah, like but that. Yeah, but if you were going to do that, I thought that's when you world build. That's when you build up the world of like the knowledge of like what they're doing and stuff and like, and they're tracking and you show me their knowledge and stuff like that. But like you just, they didn't do any of that. And so they didn't, they don't earn the right to, to, to get that because they didn't, they didn't earn it. They didn't show it to me. They didn't prove it. That that's an interesting point because maybe maybe you're right. Maybe an alternative to like showing the Native American world could have been like specifically focusing in on like hunting tactics and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and like then maybe you can get some of the exposition and like story that's already meant already in the movie we got yeah. in in that specific like regard. And then that would also reinforce itself to the whole like predator and prey like yeah. theme of the and, whole franchise. And I thought they were gonna go a step further with like mythology because they, they they brought up a point in uh when she sees the creature for the first time and she's describing it to the other hunters mm-hmm. and she's it looks like something from our childhood yeah right? it's like that creature that, that creature. and that's they, they laughed at it like oh it's a childhood story i'm like oh shit they're gonna go into that the predators have been here before and fought native americans before and then native americans had got their mythology from these aliens oh i didn't even think about like, that like, that's that's where they like like but, position it to be and then they don't go anywhere with a lot of the points that they make in the movie but how would that be like any i don't know I, I i still don't think it's like totally fair to just call them totally dumb for not thinking that for thinking that it could have been a bear when like if something similar was happening in europe and somebody was like oh like this is a werewolf and the, it's okay, like the, 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 the difference you idiot would be, the, like, the difference would be if like we were going over European people who were like skilled hunters there, and then they all go, "Nope, it's definitely a a, a, a wolf's footprint." But like the native the Native Americans are positioned to be supposed to be like really skilled hunters and trackers because mm-hmm. that's basically what they do. Yeah, right. And then the moment they see a footprint, they go, "Ah, it's definitely a bear." You know, that's not a bear's footprint. Well, they don't say it's definitely a bear. I'm pretty sure they said it's probably a bear. Right, but like it, it's it's like they it's just so glazed over. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like it, it I, I don't know. And, like, if they had set... The entire movie's Predator, but it's about hunting. So why not set the movie, the entire basis of the movie, off of these really good hunters and trackers? Right? Like, like they missed the, they missed the point of it being in set with Native Americans. Well, hold on. Other, other than having primitive weapons, like, well, like the, to me, if I was going to make something with Native Americans, it would be really focused on their... what they do as a, as, as a people, which was hunter and gatherer stuff yeah right so like that premise is so like little in it it's like what was the point of making the natives the setting and everything i i look again i didn't think it was badly done okay so going back to where the movie really picks up which i think is when uh she goes after the bear and like the bear attacks her and then the the predator attacks the bear um after after that point i feel like the movie really becomes more of um Pretty much like uh, an action like focused film, right? Like yeah. the action's just playing out, and the action is what's driving the story. Really, it's just like a chase 
film with yeah. action in yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I like the way that everything else is like uh, placed and uh, like sequenced to to build out that action story. So like, um, <laughs> when when she first um, when she gets tied up by the Native American guys that have been tasked with bringing her back, mm-hmm. uh, that they run into the predator. And uh, then that that's when like everybody first starts encountering the predator, yeah. other than her, and like she starts to pick up on the things that the predator can do, like um, like the laser beam thing, right? Yeah, uh, she the, sees the, laser beam. The, the laser tracker. I mean, yeah. that that he uses to shoot his like projectiles uh, and kill people with, and she uses it to to save the one guy in the field because she ran away. And then she's going through the field, and the guy's like brings her down, mm-hmm. and he's gonna try and shoot her. Yeah. And then she sees the the lasers on him again, and she pushes him out, which saves him, but only for a little bit because the predator catches she up runs to him. Down, <laughs> runs him down, murders him. And then she gets caught in a trap, mm-hmm. and the predator could get her, yeah. but he doesn't. Um, and this is one part where I do think you're right. There is some inconsistency, I think, in terms of like who the predator goes after versus who he doesn't go after. Because it's kind of, I think by the end they establish that, oh, he's not going to hunt you if, like, you're down and weak and stuff. He doesn't see you as a threat. Yeah, but, like, he he did that a bunch of other times to other things to all, yeah, or to other the, people. To all the French guys. Yeah, all the yeah. French guys. Uh, yeah. Especially the one, like, kind of, uh, the, the nicest one. Who had right? his leg cut off. That, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was helping out and teaching. Did he try and attack him or anything? Nope. He it, just got stepped on, screamed, and then the predator murdered him. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I'll, I'll get to that part. I'll get to that part. But even the wolf, the wolf just was doing his own thing. And I think the predator literally just like kicked him or something. Yeah. And then like we see him getting his head cut off and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, okay, that part's kind of inconsistent, I think. Um, um, and I guess that's that to your point, that is also where like it's like he turns invisible and he's fighting these guys. And and. Uh, it's like, yeah, what are you doing, man? Are you, are you going for stealth and hunting, or are you going for, like, a challenge and a fight, you know? Um, but, anyways, that that's the thing they go with for the girl. Mm-hmm. And um, after that, she ends up being captured by what I think are the French guys. Um, the French poachers, right? Are they yeah. poachers? Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're, is, they're, is that the word for them? Probably. No, uh, no, no, fur trappers, right? Fur trappers, fur yeah. trappers, fur trappers. Um, I, I still don't know if they were speaking French. I know they they were French. It does sound like very gargly. It, it just sounds it just sounds like gibberish yeah. with a French accent. Yeah, yeah. I, listening it to a, I mean I don't speak French, but I can deduce the sounds of uh, the <laughs> French language. And uh, listening to it last night, I was like, yeah, it does sound kind of like gargly and weird. Yeah. Um, but okay, I actually like that part because I thought it fleshed out the the world a little more. Sure. Um, and uh, made it more dynamic, and it shows hey. you like. How in this time period it's not just like Native Americans. It's like it's it's a mixed like new world that's like occurring here in the Americas, and uh, and they use the uh, her and her brother for bait. Mm-hmm. And I really like that part because I thought it was just gonna end pretty much end when the predator is first getting the the those like first uh, French guys that are like. Like keeping an eye on on the oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the girl yeah. and her brother, um, but they had a second trap set up, which was like the guys on the ground, because then the predator starts to go for them. But before he can reach them, like the guys like try and ambush the predator, and it doesn't work. In yeah. fact, they do bring him down with a net, right? They they they, they get it. They get his leg in a trap uh-huh. in a bear trap, and then once he's in the bear trap, they throw a net over them over him and hold it down. Yeah, and they I think was, they won, which I thought was stupid. Yeah. Uh, my my other issue is it is kind of crazy to think that like they've never seen something that is can literally has the the capability of invisibility like this guy does and also with this size because mm-hmm. they can at, at least deduce that it's a big thing yeah and then you know just with like that they they're like they good think, yeah. on on thinking they won and I was like dude <laughs> come I'd be like <laughs> Like, like my 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 first was thought was like that like are they trying to like capture it to like to skin it and to like to see what they can get from it or are they just stupid? I I thought they were well th- I and thought I, they were I, trying to get rich off of it. Maybe, but I was like, what they didn't do was a good it was flushing out the French guys. Like, how did the French guys know about the uh, what weren't the predator? Weren't they? Um, didn't one of them mention 
the, that, that the, somebody the, else, like the, the other groups, had been hunted or some shit like that. Really, super briefly. Okay. And then he's like, "Yo, we're we're looking for this, you know, creature. You've seen it, haven't you?" <laughs> and then she just yells at them. She, well, she doesn't say anything at first yeah. until the one guy comes in and yeah. is able to communicate with him. I just thought all that was poorly done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they throw a net over him yeah. after they seen him like wipe out like half of their friends. Yeah. And then they just start cheering, and then they get murdered. Hold up, but at some point in the movie, he stops using the invisibility as much. Is it at this point? Yeah. Okay, and, and this, and I, I liked it, because there was a good kind of little progression there. If they had done the invisibility thing the whole time, it would have yeah. been annoying, because uh, it would have been a big, annoying gimmick. But uh, the the violence starts to get a lot more, you know, like... I don't know, splattery and, and But they don't even show you anything. They just show you the splatters and like they cut to like different angles. They, like you never really saw anything, which was really disappointing to me. I don't know. I, I watch a predator movie and guy seeing guys get like ripped apart. I want to see the ripped apart. I don't know. I thought uh, they showed quite a bit. You're you're right in, in some of the goriness and stuff, but I got the idea of what was going on and, sure and maybe you got that the worked idea, better for but, me. But like I wanted to see the visceralness. Okay, it, maybe this is again just a personal preference thing. I I didn't mind it. Yeah. Um, I I think what it was is the uh, was the budget. They didn't have the budget to show you the visceralness of it. I don't know what the budget on this thing was, but I'm gonna look up the budget. I thought I thought the budget was pretty good overall. Um, like everything looked pretty good to me. Um, but yeah, uh, I I like when the predator starts going off and like just killing these guys um and it's fun to watch and also uh i i do think it shows like you know some ingenuity on on the part of the girl at this part because her and her brother are stuck in the tree yeah. and they don't just like wriggle out of it like and no. it's like oh we're good no like there's a trick to it what what do they do uh she gets she cuts themselves she cuts them free but how did she? She gets the bear trap, and then she gets the she pulls the bear trap up, and she snaps it with her. She snaps the rope with the bear trap teeth. Oh right, right, right. She like on it. she she drops a rock on it and like puts the rope right. Yeah, up. Okay, she tells okay. a story about the the beaver who gnaws its own legs off, and yeah. you think she's gonna cut her hand off, but she just cuts the rope because she's smarter than the. Beaver. Yeah, she's like I'm smarter than the beaver. I like that part. Sure. Um, yeah, and uh, and you know, cause like in parts like that, it's easy to cop out with just like oh, I can just get out of it, you know. Um, so I, I like that part. I like that they escape. And then is it right after this part that they go back to the French fur trappers like camp area, right? Well, the the brother takes off to go get the horses, right? And she she take, goes back to the camp area. Yeah, and she goes to the camp area to get her dog. Yeah, and her and her weapons. And uh-huh. when she goes back there, she encounters the the nice French the guy. Nice, the, well, the nicest French guy. Yes, that was there. Yeah, and he's wounded. And uh, he he needs the medicine, um, and this was actually another really good part because we've seen the medicine before the orange flower thing, um, mm-hmm. and she used it as like a like as some sort of a, I don't even know what to call it, but some sort of like ointment kind of thing she was able to make to uh, put on the guy that was wounded earlier by the mountain lion, or was that guy actually wounded by the predator? Mm-hmm. No. By a mountain lion, and the mountain lion was supposedly scared off by the predator, right? Right. Okay. Okay, so anyway, she does that, and I remember him saying, I'm feeling cold, and she's like, that means the medicine's working, just like, stick it out. Yeah. Um, so she does the same thing, well, she actually feeds it straight, straight to the French guy, if I remember mm-hmm. correctly. Yeah, to help, it, uh, and they, they said in the beginning that it cooled your blood down by like slowing it down. Yeah. So it slows the blood down, keeps them by be it by cooling by making him cold, and so if the he warmed up, he would bleed out. Mm-hmm. So it, it 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 like I don't know if there's any scientific uh like re- like reality to that. I don't really care though because it's like it was established as a little bit of a rule in the movie, yes. right? Yeah. And yeah. I I like that. Hey, get down. And I can ap- yeah. and I can appreciate that because it actually plays a part into the story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. So then she gives it to this French dude. He teaches her how to use the gun. Mm-hmm. And then that's when the predator shows back up. And uh, I think he's invisible. Um, <laughs> and she's hiding. And she's watching this whole thing play out. And she realizes the predator can't see him. 
Yes. And and that's when she's able... Does she deduce right she, then? Yeah, she deduces there because she literally says, it can see him. Yeah, but she deduces right then and there that it's like the orange flower. It's a flower that, cause it, it cold, because it's she cold. knows it colds the blood. Yeah, and so that's why she, yeah. he's not... Okay, okay. Um, so I really like that. And I was actually on the edge of my seat when I was watching that because I was like, oh, please, like... Like, I don't know how nice this French guy is, but I feel bad for him now. So, like, yeah. come on, let him live, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he gets stepped on, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no! And then, like, the predator just, like... Slash. Yeah, him. and I was like, oh, dude, that was messed up right there. But, all right, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then that's when the brother shows up, right? No. No? No. Uh, he screams, and then she comes out behind and kills him, right? And then I think decapitates him or something. And she comes out with Hold on, the who gun. kills who? The pr- predator kills the French dude. Yes, the yes, we already She comes out with the f- with the pistol that she was given by the French guy. Oh, okay, okay. To shoot, right? Yeah. And Oh, but she didn't load it right, and it just she clicks. She didn't load it right, and it right? just clicks. Yeah, um, and it sets off the predator to her, yeah. Right, and so he comes after her, and that's when... And then she, like bounces around a few times and then her brother comes in with the horse screaming. Yeah, okay, again, and, and I actually like that too because... I was thinking, like, man, she's never handled the gun before, and this guy just told her, like, in a rush how to use it, and she's about to use it, like, perfectly, and then it doesn't happen. And I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. And then the brother has to come in, and everything keeps moving, you know? Yeah. I like that. Um, and, uh, I mean, this is the, this is the brother's last last little stand, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. he gets uh, murdered here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and I thought it was all pretty well done. Like he put up a good fight, did a good job, and then uh, provided her with the opportunity that she needed to get out of there. Uh, well, kind of because he tells her to run, she doesn't run. Uh, then he gets killed, and she's well, still there. And then he uh, has one last like the, swipe, yeah, the, right? The predator starts to come after her, and then her brother stabs the guy, the predator again, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he. he Doubly make sure that he then he, yeah then he makes sure. and then she pulls the gun out and he's like going to try to shoot the thing and then it's like oh should I shoot it should I revenge my brother or should I run away like a coward mm-hmm. uh, and she runs away like a coward well I wouldn't say that she runs away because the the movie did establish the the line that says you know the I want to say it's katwa very close something like very that. close. I don't want to say fatwa because that's that's the scene. that's the Iranian like thing that, <laughs> that or not even Iranian. I think it's like a thing that's put out on people that are sacrilegious. No, no, it starts with the C. You're right, the first time. But but anyways, yeah, whatever that thing is, her mom says it's not about uh, it's not about. I think she says it's not about the hunt. It's about like surviving. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And. Um, and so I think that's when she's like, okay, I need to survive because I'm not going to do anything right now. Yeah, and but like, it, I just wait again, like the theme of it is so weak. I wish it would have played up harder and like been just been like reinforced throughout the thing. You know what I mean? Instead of like just very weakly established and then weakly brought into it and like enforced. You know, I just want the I just want the theme to be enforced a little bit more and throughout it so that way it's it hits stronger when she recognizes it i don't know i thought it was fine right there <laughs> uh, again this, this is this is the the point of movies being subjective yeah yeah <laughs> which we established the other day so i'm glad i'm yeah. glad you brought that up yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean objectively it's a bad movie but subjectively you can like it no 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, and so, uh, yeah, she takes off. What happens after this exactly? I know she runs into the, the one French guy that got away at some point, right? Yeah, and she's... she's Was this, is that right after this? Yeah, well, she goes, she washes her hands, and she's crying. Yeah. Uh, and then she sees the French guy, and then she goes to kill him with the gun, uh, and then decides against it, uh, and instead uh, knocks him out. Mm-hmm. And captures him. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if she cuts his leg off or his leg's already cut off. But some... I think it, maybe it was already cut off. Okay. Because then she uses him as bait. Yeah. To yeah. draw out the predator yeah. into her very wild scheme. Yeah, yeah. Which came, comes out of nowhere. Um, it does have a lot of... Uh, Home Alone? Preparation to it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I liked all of this, to be honest. Um, 
It, Not all it, of it comes out of nowhere though. Like it, it, like the tree she, trunk part and she, the mud part. She learns uh, she learns a lot of it from the watching everyone else fight it. Yeah. Which I wish she would have fought the predator before this so then she could have learned from her experience fighting it and not just watching everyone else fight it and like almost defeat it and then she learns from that um I, 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 it, it's fine I, I don't know it's just I think if it had just been a better movie overall I wouldn't have minded it but like each point of it just was like I don't like this and so everything just came out to like me not liking it yeah so. well I mean I like the way it concluded uh, cause I think she took everything she picked up on yeah. about the predator and she utilized it um and uh yeah like every, everything i think kind of came back into play like the flower I, she took it right herself to make herself colder and harder to see um she was actually able to steal his mask right mm -hmm. um and uh she she was aware of what it could do uh she used the tree trunk with like the swampy mud that like she sunk into earlier um, like she used everything she could and like waited to, to the right perfect moment to get him in sight to like take him out. Yeah. And she did. Um, I just like at the beginning of the movie and throughout the entire movie, it showed that she was a failure at hunting, but then she can take down the predator because she watched other people fight it. Like, she, she learned. Yeah. But like, so she couldn't learn how to hunt before this. Well, to be fair, uh, I don't think, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that she didn't know how to hunt before this. She, she, I think she knew how to hunt. She knew how to hunt, but she was just, she just failed she, at the she, act she, of it. Yeah, she just happened she not just, to get the, what, the deer. The deer, the, the, uh, the rabbits, the birds. Well, her brother shot the bird before yeah. she got a chance, so there was that. I don't know, again, I, I wasn't too upset about the that. The bear, the lion. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Uh, it's like you, you don't show me. I also think she didn't have a fair chance with her. Her brother took credit for that shit, but I mean, like she, she was, was on a tree <laughs> 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 facing off against the lion, and then and and the other guy didn't get the drop on the lion. I know either. that's what I'm saying. Like they made him look like idiots. Like they don't even know how animals hunt. Uh, I don't think so. Or, or I I do fight. think I I don't think it was necessarily idiots. I just think I do think that the thing that's um that that you have a point on is that like everybody just like kind of hated her and shat on her yeah <laughs> like setting up like oh you should be in the kitchen do, do they actually say kitchen something like that. no they know yeah, they, they should be cooking, they, yeah, cooking. Thankfully, think, yeah you can come along with us we'll need to eat at some yeah, point yeah, yeah something like that yeah. so like all those uh degrading uh remarks and stuff just to like sort of uh drive home the point that it's gonna be all the sweeter i guess when she when gets she, her like her come up moment yeah, yeah. um but like i don't she didn't deserve any of it like she was bad at hunting she i don't that's what i'm saying like if you if you want me to believe that she is capable then show me that she's capable yeah. and, it, and it's just sexism that's holding her down right but you don't show me that she's capable at all and then there's the sexism mm. right so like they have a point that she's not good at hunting but they're yeah. still being sexist by not letting her be included because they do show that some of the other guys aren't good at hunting either, but they still yeah. include them because they're men, right? Yeah. So, like, show that she's good and that it's the sexism that's holding her down, and that's going to make a better story. But right? I didn't think it was necessary. Again, I don't think it was that she wasn't good at it. It's just that she was still young, and that was the other aspect, right? Because that whole thing was about, like, Becoming like a passage of rights thing yeah, or, yeah. or whatever it's but, called. But, but, but I'm pretty sure it's a passage of right as a hunter, not as, like... Uh, adult i i thought it was both um maybe because she doesn't maybe. look like you know that old in the movie uh she looks like like a teenager essentially yeah. um but yeah i i hear your points and i see what you're saying yeah. the, uh, we haven't talked about this yet with prey uh i hated how dark it was in some shots yeah and like yeah they're going for that really naturalistic tone which I don't think you should ever I, do. I I, I don't. Just, you can't. You can't. What do you mean naturalistic tone? Like 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 only Look? shot only shot by like sunlight. Like they don't bring in extra lights to light the scene. Mm. I I can only see like background and barely distinguish the characters from the background. It just it was just so difficult to like watch it. This is a weird thing, I, I guess to talk about maybe because I just don't know enough about the technical aspects of these things. You know behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, 
Because I'll watch like indie movies from like the 80s, 70s, and like 60s where I'm sure like they were really only filming outside in the dark with maybe one good light out there to mm-hmm. really like light the subjects and stuff. Yeah. And so the way that that comes out looking is like the subjects are lit, but like everything out else is like literally basically pitch black unless yeah. the light happens to ca- like specifically i'm thinking of a uh, texas chainsaw massacre and all you can see are the actors barely and uh but like they they kind of like are luminous they're not like dimly lit they, yeah. they look yeah. kind of luminous yeah. and then everything else is just yeah, well, like this pitch black pray and, and i like that quality sure but um, praying but but now with and, these and cameras, these newer movies, it's, you, you it's just get kind of like a gray yeah look and, to and then everything. They color grade it to yeah. make it look all one tone. Like there's no like visible difference in colors. Yeah, and so it's all just gray or blue. Yeah, and and, and I that's a problem I have with uh, uh, especially like the past like ten to twelve years of television. Yeah. I think they did that a ton. And it really bothers me. The last few seasons in Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know. Pitch black, you can't see anything. Everybody always said that, and I get it. Like even in some newer stuff, like Moon Knight, I I remember having some stuff here and there like that. And I thought this is so dumb. I super bad. I I don't I don't know. Like it 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 does annoy me when um, I don't see that much color on screen because it seems like especially like american cinema and television is afraid of having bright colors yeah or nice colors well, it's it's the the seriousness of it like you want to be serious then you exactly take the color out you want to but, be super silly and flamboyant you put colors in but the, just because you have colors and it doesn't make it silly or flamboyant in my opinion because yeah. especially if you're watching movies from like other countries like uh like say like latin american countries their buildings are bright and colorful anyway so you're gonna see a lot of color well yeah like uh i don't know if you've seen the trailer indian for, cinema uh, yeah the, the Bolly- new bollywood uh yeah. rar yeah, rar. yeah, yeah. Super colorful, super colorful, and like they have colors in it, and it looks good. Yeah, because you know they have a lot of nice colors over there, and there's nothing wrong with that. Even like the most recent like Multiverse of Madness, like compared to uh, other Marvel movies, this has like a more colorful palette. But even those colors in it are still like kind of dull. Are dulled. I will say the Marvel movies will have some nice colors in them. yeah, they they have some nice colors in them throughout. Um, but I also get what you're saying. Some of their some of their stuff also looks kind of muted and dull at the yeah. same time. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just an issue I take with like filmmaking uh, at times. I'm not even asking you to throw in as much color as a, no, a, a, just other put, stuff. Just put some like saturation differences between or, the or, people on the on the background. Or just put a little more color just in. Put there. Color just put a little more color in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I get that, too. I, I don't like that. Um, yeah. That's why, even in video games, video games do it a lot, too, I think. Yeah. That's why I always put the brightness when All they're way. starting the game up. I put it to the max, because I don't think you can't, it's... You can't see anything. It's not fun not being able to see stuff. No. In the Dark Souls games, they have dark levels anyways, where you can't see stuff intentionally. That was how they were designed anyway. <laughs> um, but, yeah... Um, yeah, I, I like this movie overall. I mean, that's all I can really say. Oh, I will say, <laughs> while I was watching this, I was like, dude, the guy that came up with this was definitely, like, I imagine him, like, sitting at his parents' basement, like, you know, in his parents' basement, just, like, smoking smoking a joint, like, <laughs> watching the original Predator. Uh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm sorry, not the original Predator. He's watching The Revenant. The Revenant? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he's taking a rip, and then he's, like, glances at his dad, like the wall and he sees his dad's old predator poster and he's like oh, oh. <laughs> like he just merged the two <laughs> this is what it felt like to me it's like somebody was like what if we took the predator and combined and it with the, the revenant? revenant and then you know that's that's essentially what we got and I, overall i liked the product it was it was like a pretty good time for uh, me. i'm glad you liked it yeah I'm and much like it. i didn't i did not <laughs> Well, just maybe next time, because I hear they're maybe going to do more, so we'll see. I think I'm out. Mm. I don't think I'm going to watch any more of them. Well, damn. I'll, I'll watch a sequel to this if they I'll probably it. watch a sequel. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll watch the sequel for sure. But, uh, yeah. No, this this is a fun movie. I thought it was a pretty fun movie overall. I'm glad you had fun, dude. Yeah. Well, I hope... Uh, Whatever you watch next is a better experience. <laughs> it probably won't be. 
Well, this is... Watching the watch in the north and next. The... Oh, dude! That's... Okay, okay. I, I also have my thoughts on the north. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen the north. Man. I would recommend not watching it. Give it a, give it a pass. I'd recommend watching it. I, I had a good time with it. Three and a half out of five stars for me. Oh. I don't like giving movie stars, but well, I mean, I use Letterbox. I did give it a star because I'm using Letterbox. I don't, I don't like starring movies. I'm just saying, I, that's what I get like, on like Letterbox. Some, some movies I think like are just are they're not the same, but they get the same amount of stars. I'm like, they're not like yeah, you know? but so like, it's hard to like equivocate those movies together. I but then it's like I would rather just go with like a watch it, don't watch it give it a skip like watch it when you have free time or something like like i feel like that defines it better than like a star rating I, I get what you're saying but at the same time i don't think there's anything wrong with giving it the star thing because like i i think again if you elaborate yourself the yeah. the stars like can that's where the stars justify themselves so like you know, it's okay if I give Ace Ventura five stars, <laughs> and I also give like uh, you know Schindler's List five stars. They're they're both great movies, dude. <laughs> like I love both of them a lot <laughs> for very different reasons, mind you. But <laughs> they're both five star movies for me. <laughs> great comedies. Great comedies. <laughs> they're not comedies. <laughs> uh, one of them is not a comedy, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. five stars in the respective you know ways. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> and in fact those two movies are only a year apart <laughs> but like if, if we went by like the logic of like we're like rating movies like are oh, the highest rated movie of all time and like by your standard it's ace ventura and shinger's list are like the top yeah. like but like, but like, you wouldn't say ace ventura is the greatest movie ever made even though you give it a five star would you no, okay, because if I had to actually sit down and say what are the greatest movies ever made, yeah. that at that point probably all the movies I'm going to list are five stars for me anyway. Okay. And I wouldn't even bring the stars into account cuz like it's just either a it's just a straightforward list one through whatever yeah. or like okay, the but, list but, and an elaboration like a like this is where you the that's, talking that's, about But that's it why I don't like in. the five stars because it's like because you do separate them between entertainment value and like prestige value too right this is it depends it depends for me for me like again if i'm gonna go watch like some 60s art house movie i'm not expecting like for it to be you know as like fun as i don't know something like uh mad max or mad max was not fun it was so Whatever, something as fun as like an action movie, like Mad Max, Spider Man, <laughs> No Way, No Way Home, or whatever. Um, but you know, now I'm looking at it for what this movie, whatever it is, is trying yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, but, but so, so like my my problem with the stars on that is like you you you're changing your criteria every time you watch a different movie of how you rate it. And again, like that, that's the subjectivity of it all comes in then there. No, but I'm, I'm always looking for the objectivity of something and like. I can't quite find it because I, it's it's art. I I don't want to say I'm changing up the criteria per se. But, I, I, but you're loosening the the not really because on it. because I see them kind of like I don't know. I guess the best way to put it is like almost like emotions. You know, I'm not gonna say that uh, again. Like the Ace Ventura and Schindler's this thing. You yeah. know, one is trying to be funny and it is funny to me. Uh, yeah. That being Ace Ventura. The first one's funny. Ace Ventura. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even the second, second one. But yeah, the, but the, the first second one one's was... a lot dumber. Yeah. Uh, I, I really love the first one. It's perfect to me, essentially. Um, but, you know, it's it's comedy. It's making me laugh and doing all these things. Schindler's List is like a historical, like, like big epic drama mm-hmm. especially and and it's tragic yeah. because a lot because a lot of the of the events that actually go down in it and yeah it, it makes me feel that tragedy and it makes me feel that like uh trauma and all that like pain and stuff and you know again films that set out to do two different things and i recognize both of them yeah, they, they both accomplished what they were each trying to do which were opposite things or uh, i don't want to say set out to they accomplished what they were trying to do. I think they did a really good job in what I thought they were trying to do. Because, again, sometimes a movie might not be trying to do something <laughs> that it's trying to do. Yeah, but, and it ends up being good for another reason that the audience member might come up with. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm still I'm trying to find the perfect way to rate a movie. And I, 
<laughs> I, haven't, I haven't found it yet. I I I, I've, I have a I have a system. If you like, like it, you like it. That's all. No, no, no. I got I got a system no, formulated for you yourself, dude. That's all you should really care about. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a system that I I've been formulating in my head. And I'm trying to like like figure out if it, if it works for every movie. And so I got I got I got some thinking I got to do. But I think <laughs> anyway, I think I think that's that's good. I think we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, yeah, so while Ryan d- conducts his like perfect movie rating system that should be universal, we'll see if that ever happens. Uh, that's what we thought about this movie, Prey. <laughs> <laughs> we, we rambled quite a bit. Yeah, we did. But... Uh, it, 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 th- this was... Uh, see ya next time. Alright, see you guys.